Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. That's what we're out there doing today. Got another Ravnica Remastered Collector's Box we're going to bust open. Now, I'm recording this the day before release on Thursday, but you guys probably won't see this until next week. But I'm a little under the weather, so hopefully my voice holds up for this. But I got to get these cards open and get them sorted so I can get them in the case for people to buy tomorrow at release at the store. So we're going to rip into here, see how many shock lands we get, see how many other goodies we can pull out of here. And see if we get lucky and pull a numbered card. That'd be nice. I'm not holding my breath. Uh, I'd probably start coughing if I try to. Anyway, so let's see what we get in here. Hope for some good stuff. So we got some stuff to sell people. The people that are smart enough to buy singles and not try and buy whole boxes. <laughs> we got a lot of boxes to sell too, though. Elf Knight Beast. And first one is a foil full art blood crypt. Gotta love it. And a crypt gas. That's a good rare. And uh, Bob, we got a Borb, Borb, Bob, Lavinia, uh, shuts down my vintage deck pretty quick. Utopia Sprawl looking gorgeous with the uh, retro border there. And Gilgate in the mana slot. Okay, so, gutter sink, good little one coming. Okay, we got a Blood Crypt, and a Crypt Gas. So we got the Crypts. Now we need the bloods. Oh wait, that was the bloods too. Rhino and bird and a gorgeous retro border spoil spark double. And another shock land, an overgrown tomb. And ghostway. And a split card. Boo. And a guild gate. And a hey, sicker foundry in the mana slot. That's probably gonna be the only one we get because all the other collector boxes, I only got one shock land in the mana slot. We'll see if this one breaks the trend. We get more than one, but all the other ones only have one, so I have a feeling this one will only be one as well. All right, Spirit Dummy Reed and a gorgeous foil retro bar Sacred Foundry, Krinko, looking nice. Cloudstone Curio for our first mythic, and then Karn the Great Creator for our second mythic. So that was a couple of nice mythics right there, back to back. <clears throat> Not bad. Finally got a Mythic. We're like three packs in. That was our first Mythic. And second. Grazer. Looking great. And Guildgate. Guildgate. Just what I figured. We're probably not going to get any more Shocklands in the mana slot. Alright. Come on. Give us some goodies. Elf Knight Angel. Seal the Guild Pact. Steam Vents for another Shockland. Dicanoplasm. Mizzix Mastery. Love that card. And four rays. Is it charm? Is it or isn't it? And then another signet in the uh, mana slot. So you can get a signet, you can get a guild gate, you can get the chromatic lantern, or you can get a stock land in the mana slot in your packs. Just so you know, bird angel. You probably already know that. You probably already opened some by now. My least mass. Prime speaker is Zagana with the, the anime art looking cool. There's a chromatic lantern. Speak of the devil. And final finality, an actual usable split card. And a Gilgate, well, of course. Let's see. Maybe this will be the first box. we we'll get two Shocklands in the mana slot. But I don't think so. I think they've pretty much set it up to where that can't happen. All right, Rhino and Elf Knight. Aurelia looking pretty. Nice with the full art foil. Tight Sprout Tyrant. Luzonous Bracers. Not Nicole Bolas for another Mythic. Ultimate Price, Sphere of Safety, Skewer of the Critics, great card, and another Signet. So, we're getting not many packs with Mythics, but when we do get a Mythic, we get two Mythics. That's very weird. Very unusual. So now that the set's been out for a few days, by the time you guys watch this video, let me know in the comments what you think about the set. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's a good set? Do you think they failed miserably? What should have been in here that isn't? Goblin Bird Illusion. Massacre Girl's in here. She definitely should have been. She's awesome. Uh, Breeding Bolt for another shock. Lazav. Finally's Mass again. The Petitioners in foil. There we go. Reclamation. House Guard. And yeah, another Guild Gate, of course. All right, five more packs. What do we got? Six Shockland already. We're going to do the 10 Shockland Challenge in one box. That would be pretty awesome if we got 10 out of one single box. I don't see it happening, though. I think the most I've seen is like seven or eight. Angel and Goblin. It is possible to, to gain to Plasm again. Cyber. I love that artwork on Cyber there. 
Watery Grave. Uh oh, uh oh, we're getting there. Fight of Hydra. Light of the Stage. Love that card. Mayhem Devil. Love that card. Grinko's Command Spawn. And a Guildgate. So, that pack full of very playable cards. Except for that Shadow Hydra. Uh, uh, does anybody ever play that? Why'd they even put that in here? Oh, they need bulk in every set? Oh, I guess that's why. Alright. Elf Knight and Centaur. Get the Void Slime. Another Watery Grave. Blazing Archon. Another Massacre Girl. Nice. Oracle. Christ. Guildgate. And a Signet. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're up to eight. It could happen. We could do the 10 Shockland Challenge in one box. That would be amazing. All right. Cross your fingers. Elf Knight Worm. Another Curio. Domri Raid. See, we don't get Mythics often, but we get two in a pack when we do. Sword of the Perns. Revival of Revenge. Guildgate. Research. Another Guildgate and another Guildgate. So three Guildgates in the same pack. That's going to get annoying. <laughs> it's already getting a little bit crazy. Getting three Guildgates in a pack. It happens a lot more often than it should. All right. Goblin and Spirit. Bottle Cloister. Filth up. Sacred Foundry. Blind Obedience. Made Ray Stone. Guildgate, of course. Lightning Helix. Good card. All right. We got one pack. What do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we get a shock land in this pack, we've done the shock land challenge in one box. For years, everybody tried to do it in two boxes. We're about to do it in one box. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. This pack. You watch. Elf Knight, Spirit, Cinder Vines, and the Carlo of the Ghost Council. That's a good card. And the anime art version. Seal the guild pack. Oh, no. And Midnight Reaper. No, we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. No. We didn't do it. Signet. it. Bomber. All right. Well, we got close. We got nine. <laughs> nine shock lands on one box. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And every version of a shock land you could ask for. Like, we got... Oh, no. We didn't get a regular non-foil. <laughs> we got a lot of full arts and full art foil. We got two retros and a retro foil. We didn't get any regular non-foils. <laughs> we didn't get the cheap version. We got all the good versions, but none of the cheap versions. That's pretty crazy. That's a lot of shock lands in the box. Yeah, our mythics were kind of weak, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a good thing that this is uh, all about the rares in this set, not the mythics this time around. <laughs> there is some good mythics in the set, though. So, And we got a couple. We got the Karn. We got the Aurelia. We got the Cloudstone two, two times. And we got the Karlov. So we did get some good mythics. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for your time. Don't forget to check out that description. Click some of those links. They help out a lot. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.